everyone and thank you for joining us for Tuesday's tip. My name is Julie Johnson and these tips are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to week number 40. Lately I've had a lot of inquiries into asking me how do you get your black backgrounds to be solid black? What can happen sometimes when shooting with a black background if your subject is not at least one stop um, hotter than the background the background isn't going to be black. So sometimes when you're shooting a newborn, the baby's uh, laying directly on the black blanket, you're going to see the fabric. So today I'm going to show you tips and tricks in Photoshop as to how to get your black grounds to be solid black in a short amount of time. So you have to remember, everybody using Photoshop is going to do things differently. I'm showing you the way that I do things and I hope that you find it a benefit. Behind me, you'll see that I have a black background. This is actually polar fleece fabric from the fabric store. And we just got the biggest piece that we possibly could. We have two or three of these and they are fantastic. They're washable if you're using them with a newborn. Um, the only downfall is that lint sticks to them. So we have to lint roll it almost every single day just because we're using white sheets and um, white towels, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes dog hair sticks to it. So you want to make sure that you have lint rollers handy. So here's a just a quick shot of our background stand with the polar fleece blanket just hanging over it. So you want to just, when you go to the fabric store, ask for the biggest piece. I think this one is about eight feet by um, 10 feet kind of thing. So anyways, just go and see what they have. But I highly recommend this um, fabric. So here's the shot we're going to be working on. And as you can see, um, the fabric is, you know, the texture in the fabric is visible in this shot. So it makes it less realistic that the baby would be hanging from a branch. So right now, what we're going to do first is we're going to use the patch tool and just take out any pieces of lint that is on the fabric um, that you're able to see. So we're going to go around here. So the baby is actually laying on a bean bag and the black blanket is over top of the bean bag and the baby is just um, laying inside um, a cute little pouch that we made. So right now we're going to take the patch tool and we're going to outline the image that we don't want to change um, the curve. So we're outlining the branch and the baby and what we're going to do is we're going to feather um, the selection. So we're going to right click, feather, and we're going to go to 50 pixels. So um, that just creates a nice soft edge. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select the inverse and we're going to grab our adjustments, curves, and we're going to bring the curves right down till it's a solid black. Okay, so there you go. Now the background is totally black, looks great, but what's happened is sometimes the curves darkens a little bit of your subject or what you don't want to, um, to have become dark. So then we're going to grab our history brush tool. And um, this tool is amazing, but you have to remember if you crop your image in any way or rotate it, the history brush tool is not going to work. So here we have it. We're going to grab it and you just want to make sure your brush is at a good size and uh, so we're going to bring down the brush size and you always want to make sure that it's not a hard brush so as soft as possible and we're just going to take um, that tool and we're just going to um, get the, um, the branch and the blanket back to the original um, exposure. Okay, so we're just going to go around the image and uh, and just lighten it wherever it just became dark from the curves. Okay, so some graphic designers will use um, masks and all that stuff. I just find that this is just a quick and easy way to get the image um, to have the solid black background. So we're going to go to the before and take a look. There you have it. So there's before and there's after. Okay, so there you have it. Easy. So the next image here, we're just going to uh, do just to show you how quickly this can be done. So we're just going to clone stamp out uh, the edges and the lint really quickly. And we're going to grab the marquee tool again. We're going to select around what we want to stay the natural color. 
So you can do this with headshots, um, anything. So now we're going to feather it to 50, uh, select the inverse, and then we're going to take our curves image adjustment um, curves and we're going to bring it right down. There are shortcuts that you can use which make things a lot faster. I'm just going through the way that you would find it. So we're going to um, deselect it here and uh, that's it. It's so easy guys. And now we're just taking the history um, brush and we're just going around the edges just to make sure they stay the same. And um, so here we go. There's before and there is after. On behalf of Vine Images, I just want to thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip. We hope it was beneficial for you. Please leave your comments below. Um, all you YouTube subscribers, please join us on Facebook. We would love to have you over there. Facebook.com forward slash Vine Images Inc. Okay, thanks so much and have a great day.